Hey, how you doing, Mr. Hill? Pretty good. When you look at coaching a football team and the team is not winning on the field, but guys are continue to grind and chip away and, and, and work through the process, uh, can you talk about that bond and, and, and that work ethic and that process uh, as it moves forward? It's an absolutely incredible process because that, that means your culture, right? That means the culture is starting to, to basically be – influential on the guys and, and, and when the guys are continuing working that means they see it right so that means both coaching staff and players are on the same page and that's when the buy-in is happening because these young men are working their tails off and they see it so when we get into the film room it's not it's not a beat down session it's more of a you can be so great if you would have just and then you, you 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 let them complete the sentence what you didn't do what you need to do. And they'll, and they'll speak it verbatim. And then you say, well, why you didn't do it in the game? Right. But it's not a, it's not a beat down session. It's an actual session where you go in and you let them correct themselves because they've been taught. They've seen it week in, week in and week out. So that's what gives them the hope in the light. You don't want to beat them down. You don't want to go in and curse them and, and belittle them. You go in and you say, Hey fellas, I'm going to turn this film on. And I want you to coach me through this film. Right. And they'll coach you through it. Then I'll say, so why are you not doing it? And then they'll see it. And they're, they're a gasp in the, in the auditorium. They're like, ah, oh, if I would have just, yes. Right. And so that's the importance and what you just spoke about. And that's why I love this team. And this is where I love where they're headed because they see it. And that's why they're keep working because they can see it. It's almost like that light of the tunnel, right? They see the light at the tunnel and they're working for it and they're working to get to it. And, um, they're going to be good. Coach, uh, Neil and Jabril, the one-two punch on offense. Uh, what's your thoughts on those two gentlemen? Once again, like I said before about Jabril, he's he's reason why I come to work. Not the only, but he's one of the reasons why, you know, guys like that is why you come to work. When they put in the hours, they pay the price of what it takes to be a champion, you want to be around those games. Same with Neil. You know, even though Neil is an older guy, he's a young He's a young guy chronologically in football. Haven't played much, but he puts in the work. He's a leader. He's going to, I mean, he's going to, he's your black and blue quarterback. Like he, he's a lunch pale come to work type of guy. And so that's why for me, when I look at these two guys and there are other guys other than Neil and, and Jabril, but when you speak about those two, um, you get, you get happy, you get excited about them, right? There's, there's some excitement uh, because you know, they're only going to get better. They're only going to get better. And they, they are so resilient. Their character is so high. Um, and, it, and it gives me the fuel to fight, right? It gives me the fuel to come in and make me happy about what I have in the future.